My name is Steven Dorenza. I'm the creative director for the boutique at Jardin Majorelle. We do our own uh, clothing here. We have our own workshop. You can maybe see behind me. Again, we're the only people in this kingdom who use this satin de soie, this silk satin or this silk chantong. Uh, Gondor is a classical Moroccan garment. And I think you can recognize the inspiration. This is really a hybrid between a traditional Moroccan garment and this is a reference to Saint Laurent. We never copy Saint Laurent, but we do take little inspirations from him. This is a clutch bag that is embroidered with, this looks very modernist, uh, but it's actually a 16th century Islamic arts design. Leather is uh, a big part of what we do here. Wake up in the morning This one was inspired by Moroccan poof. So you can see it on the back. It's kind of, and it becomes a bag like that. Huh? Basically, the, the, the products have to connect and reflect uh, their ancestral savoir-faire of the Amazir or the Arab culture. Then I look also at what Jacques Majorel did, and I look at, and I most certainly look at uh, Yves Saint Laurent. This is an ostrich egg. The inspiration is from 2006 from Monsieur Saint Laurent. This was their dog, Mujik. So things might look a bit modern, but the idea, the techniques, really are centuries old. Hmm? Many of the things are colored à la Saint Laurent, but really the, the big objective here is to show that it is possible to do very fine Moroccan, 100% Moroccan products. I think people can recognize this as coming from Henri Matisse. We are using it because in 1980, Yves Saint Laurent took Matisse's flowers and he put them all over his dress. Again, there's always a connection to botanics, to Yves Saint Laurent, and uh, to the Amazir culture. This technique is also the same cloisonné technique, the only enamel technique that exists in North Africa. In Arabic, we have Jardin Majorel, and in Amazir, we also have uh, Jardin Majorel. This one is a kind of wave design. It looks like a zigzag, but again, it's a symbol from the Amazir culture. Here, for example, you have something that is a traditional Amazir or Berber technique. This is silver. Never would we find something so simple. Normally Berber or Amazir um, jewelry will have many, many elements on it, uh, sometimes up to a hundred elements. What we've done here is we've taken one element and we've isolated it. What we're hoping is that uh, the lady who buys this, when she goes back to Tokyo or Paris or New York, that um, she's wearing something that really is truly Moroccan, but that is wearable and that is contemporary. Please.